Um, so guys, the reason I'm here in this bright sunny day, it's so clear out, the scene is great. I have never taken a picture of the sun. Can, can we look at it with the GoPro? Well, now I have. I'm trying not to look at it with my real eyeballs. So you know what? Let's go take a look at how I have my um, Sea Star set up. Let's get it unfolded, and I'm going to take my first ever image, solar image of the sun. And I'm looking forward to it, guys. Let's do it. There we go. See, I just walk up that like a like a steep stairs. And let me show you guys how I have my Sea Star set up, because uh, this might even be a good little tip for you pros. Uh, here, let me chill out so I don't fall over. Um, so I, as you can see, I have it in EQ mode. I've been using it in equilateral mode. Mode. <laughs> the Sea Star is a smart telescope. If anybody is brand new to this, um, it's about five hundred and seventy-five dollars, but it's an all-in-one package. You can control it with your phone or tablet, and it's incredible. It really is. It's a fifty millimeter um, Apple chromatic refractor, so a triplet refractor. So it can foc uh, focus different colors of light all at the same time, which is really cool. And you can set it up normal on a tripod. This is the tripod that it came with. You can set it up in alt as mode. So the, it's able to move in altitude and azimuth, but you can also set it up more like a traditional astrophotography setup with equilateral mode. Cause it's, it's gonna be tracking the, the stars as they or the objects as they move across the sky because of the earth spinning so and otherwise you will get field field rotation because as they go through the sky the objects are going like this but with this mode uh equilateral mode the camera is going like that also so just like that but i guess what i wanted to show you is look i decided to do i have a lot of lead because i collect lead um sinkers at the river and I even made a video doing that, but I, I have probably 200 pounds of lead and I melt them into these bars. I put six pounds of, uh, two pounds each on the bottoms of the legs here. So I have six pounds of lead on the bottom of this tripod. So even up on my garage roof um, and in EQ mode, I, I have no worries. It's, it hasn't budged. I, I didn't even have to, I just take, the, take this off here, the um, plate or whatever, and bring that inside and I just don't move the tripod and I didn't even need to do any kind of alignment last night. It was so awesome. Um, is this thing on? Here, it probably turned itself off. Let me turn it on so we can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it unfolded and I'll put the, um, it comes with a solar filter. I don't want it to accidentally unfold and aim directly at the sun without the filter because that will probably destroy it. It'll ruin the sensor. So let me get it unfolded and get the filter on and let's see if we can find the sun. Guys, are you there? I had to switch. Let's see, go to, we should be there. Oh my gosh, there we are. Wow, we got a bunch of sunspots visible. Um, so should I zoom with my fingers like this or to should I zoom with the times two and times four? Oh my gosh, here, I'm gonna hit the autofocus and just see if that is the, um, oh my gosh. Oh, no way, did you see how clear they get? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is amazing. Okay, this is incredible. Should we be taking some video? And then I can step, uh oh, that was a tree branch. Did you guys see that come in on the side? Here, I still wanna record some video. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Now, is there any way to get any of that crazy, um, oops, there's a tree branch. Is there any way to get any of that crazy detail that some telescopes can get with them super expensive um, hydrogen alpha filters? Is there any way that I can do a cheap hack with the uh, Sea Star? This is amazing. Here, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little bit of a focus here. Here, I'll just autofocus again. Okay, I'm gonna get some snapshots and some video clips here. 
Wow, no way. Tree branch, get away from us. Please. <laughs> Look at that tree. Get out of here, sir. Um, it, I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me what kind of tree that is. <laughs> this is so much fun, guys. Okay, um, I think... Should I just set up somewhere better? I don't have to be on my roof. I could um, put it in normal alt as... Uh, on a tripod, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's about to move into a better spot here. This is great, guys. I'm going to get some footage here. Wow. I think this is my cr most crisp view yet. Of course, once in a while it gets real clear because the scene is changing, you know? There's like waves of, you know, disturbance and... I feel like we might be able to stack some of these. I don't know how to track it um, while I'm like zoomed in like this. So I'm just kind of taking some video clips and we'll have to grab some frames, I guess. Whoa, it's a crazy view. Wow, I'm actually seeing some details. What the heck? I'm glad I'm recording. If you get the sun right on the edge, see how it changed once too much of it came into view? Let's do that again. Let's get it way over by the edge and let it sneak into view. We're grabbing a little bit of the details off of the sun before it gets overwhelming for the sensor maybe or something. Let's try that again. Oops, too, too fast, too fast. There, right there. You get what I mean, guys? Because I'm so experienced, I've got about 42 minutes of experience. Look at that. I almost can see, you know, some definition around the sunspots, which is insane. Uh-oh, we disconnected. Oh, no. Okay, guys, we'll meet up in um, Cyril in just a second here. Alrighty, guys, look at this final image. As you can see, we're not in Cyril because I tried to stack some frames. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm not very good at it. So my stacking ended up looking worse than some of my originals. <laughs> so I'm just going to, we're just going to take a look at some straight out of the Sea Star. So unedited, which in, its, in itself is actually kind of cool also. So this is the normal view with no zoom at all and there's them crazy rings of gradient light around the sun like out into the sky is that normal because that is just super cool I, I was like whoa what is that um and obviously we got real crisp view on the sunspots like that picture is just awesome so and unedited straight out of the sea star all right, well, we got the next image coming up. We're going to zoom in a little bit. So this is the times one. So basically, I mean, it's not optically getting closer. I think it's like a digital zoom, you know. Um, and what's cool is if you get the lighting just right, you actually are seeing some of that detail. Like if you look toward that top area by the sunspots, like there's literal like disturbance of them crazy little whatever it's called, all them little flares kind of dancing around on the sun in the crazy magnetic field and the extreme gravity, you know? So, wow. And, okay, let's zoom in one more time. It'll get more blurry, of course. Oh, yeah, basically, just looks like a crop in of that same image. It's so cool, though. But, yeah, you can, you can see some detail. So, and then as we get more equipment... Um, I'll try again, or even on different conditions. And even using the same exact setup, even even a different day, to see if the sunspots change. Do they change daily or like over the weeks? Or, you know, how fast do they change? Stuff like that. So, and obviously someday we'll get some much better equipment so we can get some actual video of all the crazy craziness that's happening up there. So... Here, let's skip to, let's bring up an actual video of it here for, to, as the outro. 
Alrighty, yeah, I'm just doing a voiceover, so let's watch this together. Obviously, this is really zoomed in, so it's kind of shaky and blurry and all the disturbance going on. But focus on the light yellow little detailed parts. I swear, I can see him dancing around like actual movement of the little flares and surface of the sun. Or am I seeing things? See? I'm looking at certain spots, and I'm, they're actually changing in real time. Like they're dancing around like them, like it's that actual surface flares and disturbance happening real time. I think the view's about to change. Oh yeah, this is just a zoomed out. So this is a video also. So if you watch one little spot, you can see it changing. Oh my gosh, guys. This was so much fun. Wow, we have other things. I'll have to see, like, if the ISS is gonna transit across the sun or something. I could probably look that up and we could uh, record that. We could just do all kinds of cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. We got lots of videos coming up. This is just the first video for the channel. I'll try to keep a good flow of videos coming in. And our next shoot is going to be... Oh, we're going to go up to an area that I prepped for us over at a farm near me. I call it the Astro Pad. It's an area I cleared out. So we got a secret spot to go do some astrophotography and I want to try to shoot a couple galaxies that I can't see from my house. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.